So I often get asked for book recommendations, and it is hard for me to recommend books, especially for beginner books, because I'm never sure, one, if the books I used are in print or not anymore. That is the hazard of being an older pagan. Um, and two, I don't really know what's new on the market anymore. Like I see, I have started to take out books from the library, 101 books, just to kind of keep up to date on them. But for a long time, I didn't bother doing that because I didn't have the need to. Um, so these are four books that I think are great for a, a wide variety of reasons. So um, the first one is one that I always recommend to every student is The Triumph of the Moon, A History of Modern Pagan Witchcraft by Ronald Hutton. Now this book is academic and it goes deeply into a scholarly look at how Wicca came to be in modern witchcraft. Um, he discussed what is going on in British society in the 1800s and the early 1900s that helped set the stage for when Gerald Gardner and his buddies got together to create Wicca. And so it is a good look at our past. It has got some good honest truths in there. And I will say that if you are someone who really likes to romanticize and pretend that, you know, Wicca is super ancient religion, this book is going to smash those dreams to pieces, I'm sorry, because it, Wicca is, is not. <laughs> um, so it is, I mean, it's, it's little tiny type, like it's not like big type in there. Um, and it, it will take you some time to digest and it will take time to work through, but definitely worth it. Um, this other one, I say I haven't read it in a long time, but it's an anthropology textbook, Magic, Witchcraft, and Religion, and it's probably got newer editions than this. This, this is from when I took anthropology a very long time ago. <laughs> but it has some really great essays in it, and what I found interesting is because, and I've talked about this on TikTok, and, um, which Aunt Coco has talked about it as well, about the satanic panic of the 80s that we were raised in and why we tend to present as fluffier than we are. And so there was this real fear of Satanists and the left-handed path. And there's an excellent essay in here with some Satanists that I was like, oh, that's really eye-opening. And that has changed my opinion and gotten rid of some of the bias I had, even as a pagan. Um, so that was kind of cool. So it's it's got a bunch of different essays and things on all sorts of different um, religions and magic systems and everything. So it is worth looking to see if it's out there. I It's a textbook, so it's probably not cheap. I'm sorry. But that is something to look into is anthropology textbooks, stuff like that, because they're going to have some interesting stuff out there for you to look at. Another book that I really love is The Elements of Ritual by Deborah Lip. So this goes deeply into how to create ritual, how to write your own rituals, why we do ritual the way we do, why we invoke the way we do, why the wording is so specific, and things like that. And so it is a really good deep dive if you are really into ritual work and want to write your own. So worth checking out. And then the other one here, this one is Celebrating the Pagan Soul. So this is stories and essays written by some of the big name pagans um, from like the 70s and 80s. And it's interesting because it talks about how they came to paganism. And now I think I'm, I'm going to, I think I'm going to reread it because at the time reading it, it made a lot of sense because some of these things like the, how hard it was to find other pagans was true, but it is not the same anymore. But it is a good look back at the past and how things were, because I don't think people will realize how hard it was to find other pagans or how hard it was to find information. And so this gives you a look at what other people were going through. And it talks about, you know, the com how communities were created. Um, so it looks like there are 60 different stories in here. Um, so, and they share their thoughts on how they came to magic or how they do their magic. And yeah, so it's kind of an interesting peek 
in again into the past to see what it was different and I think it would be interesting to see one of these made now because getting into paganism now is so different in some ways because it is more widespread and there are more resources available so and with the internet now like you can have a total online coven you know so I think that would be interesting so yeah so that's four quick book recommendations to kind of give you some more food for thought on different topics and uh, yeah, check them out let me know if you do and what you think